Hi everyone, I'm Aya Yeshe from Bodhicitta Foundation. I'd like to offer you my heartfelt good wishes under the, the challenging conditions we currently face with COVID-19 lockdowns. For those of us in developed countries who have a welfare state, things are difficult, but for people in developing countries like India, it's almost a humanitarian disaster. Basically, we have people who rely on a daily wage earned in informal employment with no wage guarantee. When they can't work, they can't eat. And for good reason, the Indian government has put everyone in lockdown because in a country of 1.3 billion people, the contagion could spread very fast. But for poor people who constitute 60% of India's population, it's a disaster because their savings will soon, soon run out and they will face starvation. This could create social um, upheaval, riots, and all kinds of violence, especially the violence will impact women and children who disproportionately make up the world's population of poor people. Um, Bodhicitta Foundation India is a, a charity that works with ex-untouchable Indian Buddhists specifically women and children. We have a girls' home, women's job training centre, food program that makes 6,000 meals per year, 55 children sponsored for school, and 200 children in uh, after-school slum, slum, slum study centres. Uh, and Red Kangaroo is also a long-term charity working on the ground in northern India with women and children working in that particularly poor area in Sarnath, they sponsor 200 children for school and are also involved in many other projects in the community. We really need your support right now, even if you could just give 10 or $20 or $100. You know, $100 would feed an Indian child for a month. If you think about us spending 4 or $5 on a cappuccino, that's um, three children that could have been fed today. Um, in the world, 40,000 children die per day due to poverty-related illness. But in times where poor people can't earn, you know, famine can spread quickly. The Indian government is uh, doing what it can and local governments to, you know, offer food. Uh, but in a country so large, it's extremely hard to reach everybody quickly. So we would like to do what we can as grassroots organisations to show the Buddhist spirit of compassion um, and put our goodwill into action. So please consider making a donation through this appeal generously organised by Sakyadita Foundation Australia. And thank you so much for your assistance in this challenging time. Many Buddhist teachers have offered free teachings on YouTube about facing challenges such as uh, Tubchen Chodron and Angel Kyodo Williams and Bodhicitta Foundation YouTube also has a new series on uh, developing meditation and dealing with unprecedented, unprecedented challenge. So in return, we are also here for you. Thank you so much for your support and I wish you all the best. And I hope that these challenging times are something for us to question, um, you know, a, a system of uh, greed versus need. Uh, hopefully that we can change and become more compassionate as a result of this uh, you know, challenge. So thank you all so much. All the best.